Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last we left off, we finally found the Urn of Sacred Ashes, and we were able to take a pinch. And now... Well, it seems as though there is a rather inflated sense of self-worth with a particular dragon. I say... We take it down a peg. <laughs> Burning sensation. Alistair squirms uncomfortably. Penalty to dexterity. Oops. Probably should not have done that. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay. We're about as well equipped as we're gonna be. Ring of Faith. Yeah. Don't need that. So. We're going to use Colgrim's horn, which we pulled off of his dead corpse is redundant to say. And we just pissed her off. I'm moving out of the way. God damn it. Okay. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, do a group heal immediately. That was really dumb of right. me. This be and then you... Oh, fuck. As soon as possible, move away. And don't get flattened by a dragon. Ouch. Okay. Should be. Oh, by the way, you? I don't know why you haven't done this yet, but freeze the goddamn dragon. Thank you. Oh, that didn't last long. Okay. Group heal. Pretty quickly, please. Buff it. Oh. Ow. And that's gonna probably hurt. Don't mind. Lag. Now we get our hands Okay, and then you need to take one of these too. Because I feel like it, okay? You. If you can, that will be great. You know what, actually? On second thought, how about you do that? Probably gonna destroy everything to hell, but let's try it. Heal, quickly! You will die, dragon! Oh, fuck you! I'm very rude sometimes. I guess it's too early for a group heal. Oh, and I, I never used any of these. running over there, you can go running over there, and you can go running over there too. Because I feel like taking the glory for myself. Also, one of the tougher fights in the game. The first time I ever beat this dragon, I had a massive glee attack. Now, 
that may say that I've uh, unlocked that achievement, but I have defeated the dragon before. I have video evidence, I swear! This should be easy enough. Let's fight in more time, too. <gasps> We killed the dragon! <laughs> we did it! I did it! <laughs> that is so awesome, guys! Holy shit! She's got a lot of shit on her. See? Anyway, this is why I wanted to empty out my inventory. Dragon scale! Grandmaster Flame Rune, there's so much here to be so happy about. <gasps> Yay! It's a dead dragon! The nearly extinct animal. And we just made even fewer. Alistair, may I have a word? Of course. Oh. Anything for my favorite mage ever. It seems you and our fearless leader are inseparable these days. I do days. love this conversation, though. Joined at the hip, almost. That's a bit of an overstatement, don't you think? <laughs> well then, now that you're in an intimate relationship, you should learn about where babies really come from. Pardon? I know the Chantry says you dream about your babies, and the good Fade spirits take them out of the Fade and leave them in your arms. But that's not true. Actually, what happens is that when a girl and a boy really love each other... Andraste's flaming sword, I know where babies come from. Do you? Do you really? I certainly hope so. <laughs> oh, all right then. Oh, look, you're all red and mottled. How cute. You did that on purpose. Now, now, Alistair, why would I do such a thing? Because... because you're wicked. That frail old lady act. I'm so not fooled. I'm on to you now. <laughs> and actually, that does remind me. Oh, side note. If you are a uh, female mage and you are romancing Alistair in this game, he actually says second favoritest mage. Side note. <laughs> but yeah, that also reminds me of this conversation. What's on your mind? Have you changed your mind about Alistair and me? I have watched you for a time, and perhaps I was wrong. There seems to be something special between the two of you. He seems less guarded when in your company, allows himself to relax, and he seems genuinely happy. Well, I am happy with him. I think I was too harsh in my judgment before, and I am sorry. You wanted the best for both of us. What you have may not last forever. Death and duty may part you. But love's worthiness is not diminished because of that. I should have seen this before. Instead, you learn to cherish every precious moment that you spend together, knowing that it may be the last. And for those of us watching, well, it brings warmth to these old bones, to know that something so beautiful can be found in the midst of chaos and strife. Probably shouldn't have done this here because of the severe lag, but I didn't know that that was going to be the case. As you wish. Either way, it's a very nice conversation and a good follow-up to her earlier judgment. You're quite taken with each other. Just be aware that you probably will have to dump him at some point. <laughs> Thanks, Wynn. And, if this seems familiar, this area was originally closed off when we ran through here before. Seeming familiar now? That's right. We were in here. This is the main temple. This is the main temple. And... Um... I'll put one into willpower. Why not? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to give you that specialization, the Arcane Warrior. And, yeah, we're going to do that. And, um, ah, well, the 
let's see. I have a few options here. Blizzard seems like the best choice, so for the moment. But until she levels up next. What level is everyone right now? Oh, 19? 19, 19, 18. So when she levels again... Alrighty! So, we have our ashes from the Urn of Sacred Ashes. We've defeated the High Dragon that was here. What else is there left to do? Save. Well, obviously, we go to camp. Because that's important to take care of first, going to camp. <sighs> oh, hello, Alistair. Something you need, my dear? Um, uh, never mind. Okay, there really isn't anything that I can do with that, but there is a conversation that I can have with you now. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. Oh, and there is an infinite approval loop. Um... I think I can show it. I don't have time for that now. Oh, I. You've got time to go off traipsing about after Darkspawn, but you got no time for your pal Ogryn, is that it? Stone forbid I get in the way of your great, important quest. Just to ask one little favor. Fine, Ogryn, what is it? I. Here we go. You and I. Oh. We, you know I... how sometimes you spend time with people and things. The mod must have fixed it! Oh, wait. <laughs> Maybe this is it. Oh, by the Maker. We don't have time for this. Oh, I. Stone forbid I get in the way of your... Yep. I, you and I, we've... You know, oh, stone forbid I get in the way... I, you and I, we've... <coughs> you know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Hmm. If you ever needed an approval glitch to get his approval up, especially if you want to have save his gifts for Awakening, because yes, he does appear in Awakening, you can use that approval glitch to get his approval way up there. Anyway, after that line, I love you too, Ogryn. <laughs> Well, I'll be shaved skin and hung up to dry. It's too soon, no lady. Too soon. I just wanted to ask a favor. Take your time. What is it? I was thinking. Uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar. Before I left, obviously. A girl you knew, or a girl you knew? What? Oh, you mean, were we rutting? <laughs> oh, I... After Bronca left for the deep roads, name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Ogryn, you dog! Anyway, she left for the surface a year back, <laughs> and I haven't seen her since. Do you know how to find her? Last I heard, she was gonna live with her mother on the surface near some lake. <sighs> Clean, bad lake, was it? <laughs> yeah, I saw it, I don't remember. There's something here you're not telling me. Ah, you suspicious sack of pebbles. You always have to think the worst of someone. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. It's dust underfoot, Warden. Forget about it. 
We'll find this Felsi. I promise. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Uh, actually, never mind. Aye, all right then. Spontaneous helmet. So, yeah, Proust plus 19, Nocrin's old flame. It's a pretty decent quest. And actually, what quests do I have left? Oh, just Ogryn, Blackstone regulars, but that takes place in... And Denerim. Ooh, we've got quite a few, but uh, that will have to be when we go to Denerim. In the meantime... We have right. places to go and Felsies to meet up with. Yes. Yes. And the way there, I'm Indeed. just going to take Morgan. Lake Callanhead docks. This will be a fun little trip. But, you know, we may as well take care of it. Okay, we have to pass through Red Cliff, and then we have to go all the way. What happened to just... I, I guess we're just going to use the Imperial Highway. Fine, whatever. Now, obviously, to do this, we need to get ourselves... Lost in damnation. Yeah, get Ogryn into the party. So, you and Branca were really married? Tell you what, boy. <laughs> you ever been married? Of course not. I was raised in the Chantry. Think the hardest stone you can find. Marriage is for suckers. Um. So, no pitter-patter of little Ogwen feet running around the home cave, I take it? <laughs> All I ever got out of that moss liquor was a headache, a deaf ear, a scratched up back. And that rash it took three different ointments to get rid of. Wow. She gave up on you, did she? And here you are. A keeper, too. <laughs> oh, he does have some of the most fun banter. Oh, what the... There's the Templar guy over here. Make her rest the souls of all. Templar and mage. Who gave their lives defending the circle. May they find peace at last. Hmm. That's a lovely sentiment, really. Whoa. That was like teleporting underneath. <laughs> anyway. So, let's... Well, can we talk to him here, or...? I got a moment. <laughs> sure. Uh, never mind. Uh. Okay, so, let's go inside. Because we're looking for Felsi, and this is the only place, and... Because she wouldn't there be in the is. tower. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? What do you mean, back you up? Just, uh, follow my lead, you know? Okay. Go get her. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Akron, is that you? Yeah, in the flesh, baby. What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? <laughs> um... Well, let's just watch for now. Well, someone's gotta do it, you know? <laughs> Can't leave a blight to the humans. They'll just muck it all up. The whole surface to choose from, and you just happen to come to my tavern? Yeah, well, uh... Tell her it's fate. What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Bronto's behind. 
So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty then. <laughs> I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogren? Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. <laughs> Admit it, Ogren is much more fun than the men around here. If by fun, you mean more likely to light farts on fire? Yes. Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Actually, who oh. am I kidding? Go ahead and let it. Indulge yourself. Whoopsie, I think I may have messed up a little bit. Just take that duster out of here. I don't want to look at him. <clears throat> Let's, uh... Oh dear. I'm going to be right back. We're going to try that again. By the way, that would be an example of uh, how not to do it. And welcome back. Let's give this another shot. Let me talk to her first. She might be married now. I uh, hadn't thought of that. Hm. Find out how much she misses old Ogren or who I have to kill. And then I'll go sweep her off her feet. That's me, <laughs> Mr. Charm. Hmm. All right. Oh, wait, where'd you go? Don't run away from me. What can I get for you? And don't say mead. We ran out of that a week ago. And don't say rum, either. Ran out the day before yesterday. And don't say brandy. When did you run out of brandy? Oh, we haven't yet. It's just terrible. We got it from a shady Orlesian trader, and I think it might really be turpentine. Felsi, I need tables clean, girl. I've got a customer. Your name's Felsi. Aye, who wants to know? I'm a friend of Ogren's. And you admit it? You don't smell drunk. Get kicked in the head by a Bronto, did you? What happened between you two? What happened? Is that a serious question? Have you met Ogren? He got drunk. Drunker than usual, even took off his pants and challenged a roast nug to a wrestling match at my father's funeral. He lost, by the way. The roast got him in an arm lock. He sat there crying for half an hour before someone pulled it off him. Ooh. How did he lose to a piece of meat? It was a sodding good roast. Elsie, what in Andraste's name are you doing? The tables, girl! All right! I've got to get back to work. Arg. I got work to do. I don't need to think about that sodding waste. Well, hopefully this doesn't trigger the end of the quest. As you wish. I'm gonna try leaving and coming back. Let's see if that works. Felsi? I got work to do. I don't need to think about that sodding waste. Well, what does she say? She hasn't exactly forgiven you for the Nug incident. Ah, uh, that fight was rigged. Anyway, the guards said it wasn't worth pressing charges. So she's no call to hold a grudge. Did she say anything else? Go get her. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. <laughs> Are you sure you're not a baker? Cause you got a sodding nice set of buns. Well, look what the nug dragged in. I should have known you were in the neighborhood, by the stench. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? This man took on an army of golems almost single-handed. It was a bit of pain, but uh, it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> a whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Yeah, uh, well... Uh... Tell her it's fate. What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> 
You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Bronto's behind. So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty then. <laughs> I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogren? Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. Admit it, Ogren is much more fun than the... well... Hmm... Than the men around here. If by fun you mean more likely to light farts on fire, yes. Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're leaving. You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings and might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nut droppings. I'll tell you what. I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled. You frigid deep stalker. Fine, but you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. That ended considerably better. Let's get our butts out of here. So, Ogryn. <laughs> I still got it. Wait, that was a success? Are you sure? Weren't you watching? She could barely restrain herself. Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Aye. All right, then. So, now that that's out of the way, and done properly this time, we're out of Here, time for this- I bought you a oh. towel, a bar of soap, and a razor while we were at the market. I... what is this for? You wash with it. I know what soap is, woman. What is this flimsy slip of metal? It's a razor. You shave with it. Shave? <laughs> Any warrior worth his salt keeps his beard. That's what I keep telling Alistair. It's matted. It has stale food stuck in it. Oh, that's where that bit of herring got you. Anyway, it keeps my face warm. Doesn't have to be pretty. Besides, the ladies love it. Tickles them in all the right places if I wag my chin like this. <laughs> I... Oh, just take it. Take it. Didn't need to know that. And on that note, I'm out of time for this installment. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Hope to see you then.